Hello! So I haven't posted anything for quite a while, but I really wanted to make a video about the book I got today. I've had this book on pre-order for over six months now and it's finally been released in the UK. And the book is The Legend of Zelda Hyrule Historia. Finally in the UK we get to know what the actual official timeline is for the Zelda series. And um, the book is very big. <laughs> To begin with, I was quite surprised at actually how big it is. Very nice embossing, nice big hardback. So let's take a look inside. Um, to begin with, it's very nice uh, presentation. Oh, it's just a, a gorgeous book. Paper quality is fantastic. Nice forward from the man himself, Shinguro Miyamoto. Um, strutting his stuff with a master sword, <laughs> Hillian shield. Nice little picture from him as well. It's quite a nice touch. Um, it starts off with Skyward Sword. And you'd think, oh wow, it's lots and lots and lots and lots of production work. Um, loads of illustrations. It's filled with such gorgeous illustrations. Beautiful artwork. Absolutely beautiful artwork. Um, I mean, just gorgeous art artwork. Stunning. Absolutely stunning artwork. So it takes you through the entire series of the games. What I really liked as well was it's got a transcript from the Wind Waker for the lettering on the intro. So you can finally find out what all those funny letters actually mean. I just think that's a really nice touch. I mean the whole book is full of wonderful illustrations. I mean this whole brown section here you see which is a good you know good nearly 100 pages is just the history the timeline and then when you get to page 137 that's when the artwork begins. But already the whole book is just shock a block with wonderful illustrations so I was just like man this is a really nice book so here we go we've got the original concept art for the Legend of Zelda the first one on the Famicom which would be cool of course over here in the west uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System or NES or NES um, you've got these development materials for each game I would have preferred to have seen these as full page spreads but that's just me, I guess, being uh, picky. But it's uh, it's not a bad price to pay, considering you get all the original concept art. I mean, this. Seeing concept art for A Link to the Past, it just looks really strange. I mean, especially considering in the finished game, he actually had pink hair. Um, so, yeah. Ocarina of Time. But you can see how it just leaps forward. And, you know, Wind Waker. Look at him there. Can you imagine him cell shaded for that? I mean, he looks really lanky. I mean, no, you know, no offense to tall people, but a really tall link just wouldn't work, I don't think. I mean, he looks like he should be in the NBA. <laughs> you know, but gorgeous sweat work. I don't know what it is, but Ganondorf kind of reminds me of a. Uh, Disney's um, Hercules kind of character design. I think it's the nose and everything, but absolutely gorgeous artwork. And I mean, look, there's just pages and pages and pages of this stuff. You know, and it goes into every conceivable little detail. I mean, here we got the Twilight Princess stuff, which I think is still the best in the entire Zelda series. I mean, Link. These these concept art pictures for Link, I mean, they you could they played around so much. I mean, there he is, very innocent, naive, almost looking childlike, and then he gets more broody, and then there he just looks angry. He looks like a proper warrior, you know. And obviously, this was the finished uh, concept design, but it goes into you know everything. I mean, Midna. Look how many changes she went through. I mean, what's this? What's going on here? I mean, this is. Almost Tim Burton-esque, you know? 
Z you know, Princess Zelda. A lot of influence, I think, from Lord of the Rings. Just in terms of the character design and costumes. It's just gorgeous to look at. I mean, even big characters. And there's just loads of this. I mean, if you're if you're a fan of anime or manga or video games or concept art or especially Zelda, get this book. I mean, even if you're not really a big Zelda fan and just like books, art books, I would seriously get this book. I mean, it goes into everything. I mean, the 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 artwork's just stunning and it really does make you appreciate how much production goes into making these classic games I mean it even goes into this look the Nintendo satellite system yeah manga comic look right in the end and it actually reads like a proper manga so it's from right to left and the artwork for this is superb Is <laughs> it does give away quite a lot of spoilers with Skyward Sword, but yeah, overall, 16 quid. I can see this going up in price being quite rare. So, if you can get a hold of a copy, get it now. It's an absolutely brilliant book, it's massive, um, just a great book. So, yeah, there you go Legend of Zelda Hyrule Historia. Highly recommend it from Dark Horse Books and Nintendo great book